Hey, I'm KIC, and we are staring down the barrel of a Day 14 horde, so that's going to be coming up uh, shortly. Just not yet. Oh, you guys. Leaving all your dead, corpsey, body, smelly things around everywhere. And then not even having the decency to leave anything for us to play with. That's not nice. Um, this guy was supposed to be working on something, and I bet because I have... Yeah, I should have started on that before. Oh, no, never mind. It, it's still going. Never mind. Okay. Sorry, my bad. I was going to say that it stopped doing things because I have closed the game and restarted it since we last spoke, but apparently I'm wrong. I'm glad to be wrong in that instance, too. No joke. Oh, my goodness. We still have uh, nothing going on, which is great. But we'll figure this crap out. It just, it's going to take a little time. Went and collected a little more wood, so we're up to 2,000 wood. I collected some more stones, some more clay, so we have some more cobblestone rocks and the opportunity to make more cobblestone rocks, all that sort of jazz. We're going to head out this way today. Can we make some wooden ramp frames? Uh, ramp. Rampadoodles. Can we do some rampadoodles? I would like some rampadoodles. Wood frame ramp. Uh, no. That one. Let's favorite you. Let's do 10 of these guys. And while I'm thinking about it, let me head back to base. I'm going to grab something else over here. Mushrooms, you're still not ready. Okay. Yeah, we just, we don't have time to stop down and do some farming today. It's just, it's just not going to happen. We're going to grab some hay bales, okay? I don't know that we need them. But I'm just going to grab a few. We might pop a few of these down over at the Day 14 Horde location. Something to drop on and be like, Ow, that didn't hurt my leg after all. Good. You know, that sort of thing. Not quite sure what we're going to do for defense, other than obviously we're going to have some spikes in place and that sort of jazz. But um, shotgun, sniper rifle, I guess we have a lot of options. Maybe a little of both? I don't know. There should be a frame kicking around right here. There you are. How you doing, framey frame? Framey frame McFramerson. Let's go back to our favoritos type thing. And we're going to need another... I don't even know. I'm going to say 30 of these guys, I guess. So the thought I kind of had in mind was to do maybe something like this, where we do... A layer down here like so and I guess if I place one of these spikes we're kind of committed on those aren't we do we have spikes spikes okay right there so if we place a spike something along these lines now we'll probably need to upgrade these guys cuz you know it's just the way it goes what is that is that 32 one two three four one two three four five crap that's not gonna be enough well that's going to be nine. We don't have nine. But my thought was maybe we can do something like that. The zombies are going to be hitting the upper limits of the wall right here. And we could potentially be standing like right up here, aiming down on the zombies' heads. Because they'll be in a nice good range about right here. So you can hit them with the sword. You can hit them with the knife. You can hit them with a shotgun. It doesn't really matter. The idea being that, uh, I don't know, I guess just to put them in a range of something. It's not going to matter if they destroy one of these blocks and then climb up high. They're going to be able to get up there. So, whatever. There'll probably be some sort of central tower over here. Like, we could do something like... Something along these lines where we do... We kind of go up a little bit. I'm going to need more frames here. I, I suddenly realize. Let's do another 20 of these guys. But, I don't know. I think something like that might be okay. So, let's just... Get the rest of these into place so we can at least do the second layer. I mean, if we are able to put enough spikes together, what I'd really like to do, just to kind of share with you that thought too, is once we get up to this layer like so, what I'd really like to do, but it's going to require some a lot of wood, is do something like this. Not, not that. Not that. So close like this. That's what I would like to do. I'd like to put another layer of spikes up there. I want them to have something to play with. Them being the zombies, of course. Pronouns, pal. 
I think they would enjoy that. And we're going to need more carpenter kits, aren't we? So let's go and make some more of those guys. Carpenter kits. Oh, those were right there already because I do have them ready to go. Let's use the crude nail ones. So we'll do 50 of those guys. And just like so, they're ready. My eyes are watering with the speed at which we can make carpenter kits. And yet, dumbfounded by how long it takes to make everything else. Minor details. Minor details. Minor details. I'm not saying this is a great design. I'm just trying something different. I've never really quite made anything like this, I don't think. And as I have said before, this is being done without a specific plan. So I don't, like, really, truly, I have no clue what I'm doing with this. I'm just kind of like, meh, whatever, this sounds great. We're going to need a lot more spikes, though. That's going to end up being a problem. Going to need to get that rolling here. So why don't we go ahead and place these frames down. I need to figure out how many we need for how many spikes we need. We still technically don't have enough to put them in the corners, too, which I would like to do. We started the 24 frames on this level, and we're going to end up just about perfect. Is that right? I don't remember what the calculations are on all this stuff. I've been paid, like, no detail. No attention to the detail. 24 is exactly correct. How about that? So that means we're going to need 30, 28, 28 spikes. One, two, three, basically. So we need a crap ton more log spiky doodles. So let's do some... We cannot make them here. We're going to need to put them on the workbench. Well, let's get started on that. Since it's going to take time, I mean, I realize it's going to take time for all this crap, and then I still have to leave a way to get in. So that's kind of where some of this other stuff's going to come into play, all these ramp frames and stuff. If you've never seen the way I do this, um, that at least will be a repeat, okay? That will be a repeat. I like using ramps to get in and out of stuff. I like using elevated platforms to get in and out of these defensive positions. I'm not saying it's the best way to do things. Again, how you choose to do things is fine. This is just my preferred method. I like something that I can use regardless of having a broken leg, etc., etc. Just kind of a variety of different things is really what it comes down to. Where are we out on here? 13 minutes. Okay, I'm going to hope that that finishes quickly. 13 minutes. So by the time my recording has hit 21 minutes or so, that's roughly where we will be at. So noted. Wood log spike. So we're going to make... We need another... Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're going to need another eight of them. Plus another 28. And yeah, I want to do it in separate orders because I want to see what that leaves us with here. So that's going to leave us with 894 wood. I think that will be an accurate count. We're going to probably need to chop down another couple dozen more trees or something. I did chop down a few pretty good-sized trees, including one 1200, because that was the only one I could find. The rest were all 600, which was kind of obnoxious. Let's put you on the shotgun for the time being, because you're loud. You, of course, being the chainsaw. I should probably put it on this. So then we can stop and grab that as we go by. I mean, boom. Boom. Boom and boom. There's 25 wood just like that. Make it 30. Make it 35. How about that? Make it 40. Make it 45. And make it 46 or something. I don't know. Whatever. I'll chop this guy down. You look like you're pretty good. And then, uh, you're pretty small. This one should be a 900. And I think that's a 9, or a 600, rather. That might be a 9 right there. I can't tell these ones as well. And then that should be a nine right here. Okay. Okay. You know, are these the ones that we planted the other day? Because they sure grew quickly, if so. Holy crap. I'm impressed. 
Color me impressed. I don't know what color that is, but color me that. So we're going to need some more spikes. Oh, crap. That was not what I wanted to do. You were supposed to reset. Uh, b b uh, reset your rotation. I'm going to have to think about whether I, I want to fix that one. That's going to mean an additional spike, etc., etc. Okay, you are not something that's actually there. Just making sure. Ah, man. Dang it. Dang it. That's right, we'll come back with some additional spikes in a while. Can probably make a few. I really, honestly, I kind of intended to make a few extra anyway, just because it's silly to think that the zombies won't destroy at least a few of them, right? So it'd be nice to be able to pop a couple of down, but that's assuming that you're able to do that. You can't always do that because the zombies are in the way, and of course, when they're in, once they're in the way, you can't place anything there. Nope, I don't... Nope, not, not, not that. Let's do... Oh, let's do 10 for now. Probably going to need another 10, so we'll do another 10. we got to get back inside now. So we'll use the frame over on... this side that I had picked up and now have replaced on the ground. So these guys all need to be upgraded. Are, do we have enough repair kit thingy-majiggers? 78 of those. Okay, good. We'll be fine. For this stage, anyway. We're going to need a few more of them, of course. Oh, I didn't do... Ah, oh, crud. I didn't do the corner under there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say it's worth it to do that. Okay, let me make sure I get these corners before I do this. I forgot to grab a nail gun, too. Dang it. Again, I keep assuming we have a nail gun. We might not. Let's go see if we have a nail gun, because that would make life so much better. I mean, I'm not opposed to going click, 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 click. But if we don't have to, that's that's worth it to me. Should probably be taking the mini bike for as many trips as we're making too. Just to save those precious seconds. I mean they may end up making the difference. I don't know. I think we'll be okay without having to do that. But I'll I'll take the bike out next time we go back, which will be in a moment. We're going to stop and grab some things first, though. We're going to grab whatever spikes we have ready. Since we ended up making uh, the choppy choppy on the trees, let's go ahead and queue up a few more of these. We're going to do another uh, 20 of them. I don't think we'll need as much wood as we have. I'm I'm hopeful we won't. Do we have a nail gun? We have a nail gun. We have two nail guns. We will take one nail gun. It's going to say, I was pretty certain we had a nail gun. Here, we'll go ahead and take the mini bike. Just because it'll be so much faster to get back. And, and right now, like I said, I don't know that it matters, but I feel like we should be valuing every second we have as the day 14 horde comes ever closer. Not that they're literally walking over here. They magically spawn later. Pretend for the moment that they are coming this way. And that, yes, we must be prepared for them. So much better! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Armor Gersh! Here, let's go ahead and just clickety-clickety all these guys. Um, yep, that happened, didn't it? It sure did. That might end up being a problem. I gotta be careful not to fall into places and such and so forth. That that could be a bad thing at night. We might end up having to fill this in a little bit or put a ladder down somewhere up to something. I, I'm not sure how that's gonna work out exactly. Like I said, this is not... Oh, that's what that was. I was seeing the, the light from the goggles bouncing around. I'm like, what is that? Is it raining? It's not raining. And then it dawned on me. Nope, it's the goggles. I'm not quite sure how we're going to cope with the falling down thing. I guess the... The goal is don't fall down. Nope, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Actually, that might not be a bad idea. 
Let's see how much that costs and how much metal we have. Let's do it. I'm just thinking this top block might be the one that gets hit the most by zombies again. Well, that one got upgraded a couple times. All right, well, fine. Good for you. Aren't you special? So we're going to need to place some more spiky doodles. So let's go ahead and grab these guys, and I'm just going to jump over the edge here. See, now you don't want to do that. You want to do the other thing. Okay, so if I do that, let's set you to on face, because then I can put these exactly how I want them. I Half the time, I will totally admit, I forget to switch to on face, and instead I just click around 78 times until I get to the right rotation. When I say half the time, I mean 99% of the time, okay? I, that's, that's actually what I mean. True story. True, true story. Okay, so let me make sure I do this carefully right now. And then I made some of these guys. And I'm going to need a few more, as it turns out. I did not do my math particularly well. I came up three short because we need some spiky doodles right there, too. So we're going to do a spiky doodle like that. And then now it's time to build the entrance into this place, which I know probably should have done that beforehand. Whatever. It's minor, minor details. Don't, don't tell me that I should have done this already. I know I should have. So we're going to do something like... Um, Something like... Uh, I feel like I need more frames. It would be better and easier, in a sense, to go underground. But since we got to go through asphalt, um, I don't know that I want to do that. Might not be the bad way to go, though. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll just go underground. Hmm. I'm just... Sorry, I'm thinking of just nerd pulling it and going underground. It's going to take a little while to chop through the asphalt. And then that begs the question of... How do you set this up down here? So I have an idea. Okay. Uh, this is where I wish we had a lot more time than what we do have. And I say that in terms of the horde showing up, because, I mean, uh, yeah, you know what I mean, right, 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 good. Didn't mean to hit that one. I guess I'm committed. So here's my thought. We put a door down here on one of these sides. We put a door right here. So if we have to, we can run in. We run over to this door. We get inside. This will end up being a full thing that goes all the way up because we can put a ladder in here to get up, and then we have a hatch up top. Um, we can have a hatch right here, maybe, to get out. This would be our door. Um, sure, let's just commit to this path. It's going to be ugly. This is where an auger or... Something would be great. Anything would be better than this. This is going to be awful. But that's okay. I think we can get away with this and it'll, it'll work out alright. Once we chop through this, we can switch to the shovel. And it should go... pretty quickly, I think. So here, let's switch to these for now. I guess we didn't really need all those various frames and things after all. So that's... one, two, so... My thought is, and this might not work out, this is a big if. Okay, so that's pretty far down. We should be able to make a tunnel across now. And yeah, I realize hey, my, my levels here are all messed up, but that's fine. I'm okay with this here, and we'll just keep going. Hello? Ah, oh, dang it. Zombies are testing the defenses already. They're going to break everything. 
Oh, we need some stamina here. I need, I need a beer. Do we have a beer? We don't have a beer, but we have one of these. I was kind of afraid of that. That's obnoxious. Okay, so theoretically here, I don't even know how, how far we've gone at this point. I feel like we should probably go a few more, but if I use some cheating type stuff. It looks like we've probably gone far enough. I didn't bother to count. I'd like to go say another three just to be safe. Okay. I'm going to leave it right there. We'll do some math in a minute to figure out where we're at. I just, I got to fix this stuff before they or I got to get rid of these zombies before they break everything. My bad. Trap damage. Yeah, you don't say. You don't say. I kind of totally, sort of, maybe bungled my jump. So, there you go. Departed woman. Ooh, a diamond wedding ring. I don't. So we got to go quite a few blocks, it looks like. So if we go one, two, three, four... Five, six. If we go out like 10, 15 blocks, we're, we're probably fine. Didn't mean to grab that one. I was trying to grab the top one. Somehow I missed. I guess it was a little too tall for me or something. So you know, let's drop back down. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think we got to go a little more. So that's eight. That's nine. And I do think we need to go a little further than that. So we'll drink the tea of refreshing. That's 10. I feel like 12 will probably be safe. So that's 11. Let's see, what do we have on everything right here? Um, I guess we don't really have anything special so let's can we make a hatch right here scrap iron hatch we got to do those back at the base okay so we need to make a couple of hatches i really was not planning on doing that we can make a door though we can at least do that right now so let's get a secure wooden door going so that's 12 right there we should be able to go straight up if we do this carefully we can go straight up and theoretically we'll be able to get out of here Nope. Look at that. That worked out just greatly. Perfect. Oh, look at that. That is... It's not ideal, but considering we're looking at not much time and all that jazz, I'm okay with that. I mean, realistically, I would like to be further out. I'd like to be... I mean, if I were doing this for real, in terms of, like, a big horde, I would want to be about right here. Something like this. So about 35, 40 blocks away. Something along those lines. I would feel comfortable with that. As it stands, this is what we have, so... Run with it. What I usually do, too, and I'm not going to have the chance to do it right now, I usually will, um... Ah, uh, come on. Can I not... Ah, uh, crap. There it goes. All right. I'll usually mine out the block behind the ladder and then put down some uh, fresh blocks so that I'm not climbing what looks like, I don't know, something that barely even exists. And that may or may not exist. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I have a thing about it. I feel like it it works, The la that ladders work better if you can actually see the block that you're trying to climb. Because I'm really struggling with this right now, and I don't know what the deal is other than, I think it's that. I just, I struggle with those from time to time. Here, let's put you down here. So I said we could go ahead and put a door... Right there, that's perfect. We're going to fill this stuff in. 
something like this. And then uh, one, two, three. That's looking okay. We got a door right here. We'll upgrade you. Probably will need to upgrade that to a reinforced door. So for right now, because we don't have the tower set up, we're just going to get out like this. And wherever the mini bike is, we're going to take that. Took drop damage again. I didn't even think I touched anything. I, I protest. I disagree with you, game. Oh, look at that. We have long since passed the 21 minute mark. So I'll leave the bike out there for now. It's fine. Ah, my face. If only my goggles would stay on my face correctly. They always end up to the side because we drive so fast or something. Merchant delivery box. Let's go ahead and start on another. Before we do anything else, because I will forget if I don't, let's make a couple of hatches. We can do a scrap iron hatch. We'll do two of those guys. We're going to need them. We're going to grab some forged iron here. We already had forged iron. Never mind. We're going to grab more forged iron. And maybe put some of these other things away. We don't necessarily need all this jazz right now. There we go. We'll let you sort that jazz out. I like the word jazz, so I'm going to say jazz a couple more times. Jazz, jazz, jazz. Let's go put a box down at the front door. Okay, everything looks good over there. I'm going to say, oh man, where do we put this thing? I think we need to put it out like right here next to the mailbox. The reason for that is the zombies aren't likely to mess with things over here. They're not as likely, okay? They're not as likely. Heavy bandit leg armor, hunting rifle receiver. In case, okay, so in case you don't know what this is, by the way, this is a portable store. That's essentially what this is. It's a small one. But it's basically, well, it's not portable, but it's just a small mail order store that, except the mail order is instantaneous. It's like Amazon, if Amazon had teleporters or transporters or however you'd like to phrase that. Or whatever store you prefer if you don't like Amazon and they're taking over everything. I don't know, whatever. I'm not here about the politics, okay? I'm here about the zombies. So let's let's keep it to that if you don't mind. Much appreciated. Great, good. Self, stop talking to yourself. You need to figure this crap out. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and let you cook up another one. That is fine. We do need to eat some food. We're kind of getting to that point. We can do the meat stew. It's a nice hot stew. Now I'd rather not. Here, let's do some boiled meat instead. And we can do another one of those guys. And we should be able to do one more. That'll theoretically get us one more wellness point. We are going to want the beers, so I'll just go ahead and grab them for right now. Here, let's go ahead and take one more, yet one more boiled meat. And then let's go drive back over here. Zoom, we'll zoom around. We're going to go long today, folks, okay? We're going to go long today so that by the time we wrap up today's episode, we're going to be close to Horde Rival. So that tomorrow can be dedicated entirely to the Horde, rather than doing a, I don't know, a really short episode or something. I don't, I don't like doing those very much, so I'd rather just go long. Do a Hail Mary. That's fine. It's not a big deal. We can do this. Besides, we still have more stuff to do, so I think it ends up working out all right. If we want to upgrade you... Looks like it's just a little bit of wood, so we'll go ahead and upgrade these. If we have enough iron, I'd like to upgrade them up to scrap iron as well. So let's go ahead and take our frames down. We no longer need all these frames scattered about over here. They're no longer necessary. Splat, 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 splat. Yeah, these things don't do a lot of damage. I, I know that. That's why I have said before I prefer the the other ones. prefer the other spikes just because I like the ones that'll take a, the legs off a zombie pretty much instantaneously. Well, maybe not instantaneously, but darn quickly. All right, darn, darn quickly. I just enjoy that. What can I say? 
You can put down a field of those and watch the zombies run through them, and not many will make it to your base. With these, though, they will make it to your base. A field of them might take a while, so it'll slow them down, but they will make it eventually. Hello, ma'am. Thank you for the level. I appreciate that. Okay, so this thing's looking all right. And then somewhere around here, we were supposed to place a hatch. I really kind of want to dig this out further, but I got to remind myself we're not done building just yet. We've got to do some other stuff here. So where does this hatch go? Um, I guess right there. That doesn't feel right, but that's whatever. That's fine. Can I get inside and make my way down? No. See, this is this is why I dig this crap out, because these things are just janky as all get out if you don't. That's my experience anyway. Janky McJankerson. That is what they are. And then, can I get out of here? All right, good. Thank you. So we'll put that one right there. That one at least is where it belongs, because it should be on that. And we're going to have to do a ladder that is going to be on... Ooh, crap. We can't do a ladder right here. Um, we should be able to do a ladder right there because you can jump and climb. Zombies cannot. It's one of the reasons I often don't put the bottom rung of the ladder down. We should be able to make this right. We can just stand here and jump up. Okay. I just got to make sure. It's a little, It's a little funky, but I think we can make it work. Normally, I'd like to have more space, but because this is all coming together last moment, you know, it just, it is what it is. I think we'll have some use for some of these things, these other things, too. We'll see how this goes. Um, one, two. I got to stop and take a look over here. One, two, three. I want to go up a little higher, so that's going to mean a few more wood frames. I don't even know what we'll need. Um, sure, we'll say 20. I, I don't know. I got nothing. Let's upgrade these guys, though. Probably fine with this particular part of things being just a couple of steps of wood. How are we doing with wood? We are getting awfully low. Okay, that's because... This stuff adds up in a hurry. And then we have all these carpenter kits, too. Where are we at with carpenter kits? We're going to need a few more of those, so... We'll do some carpenter kits. We'll just make, um... Another dozen of them. We have some regular nails handy. That'll be fine. Okay, so let's go... Apparently, just walking near that is setting off the trap. Okay, that's fine. I'm not going to argue with it. It's okay. Let's go chop a couple trees down, because we're going to run out of wood if we don't. Grab this guy right here. This will be worth a good chunk. And then we'll grab this one right here. Eight hundred twenty. I'm gonna say we need a little more. I know this one's not ready, but sorry, sorry. We need the wood, man. Grab this one too, just to grab one more. Okay, you are loud. Go away. Thank you. My ears. Maple seeds. So we only got maple seeds, huh? We didn't get any other seeds. All right. Fine. Maple it is then, and only maple. Apparently, we are all Canadians. Which is weird, because I'm not. Minor details, cat, right? So back in the hole, kitty. A little concerned about this hatch. And the way it's positioned. I half wonder if the zombies are going to be a problem with it. 
I don't know, whatever. We'll see. Close the hatch, climb up. And we do need more ladders, of course. That that might help to climb up. Minor details, kitty. Minor, minor details. Alright, that puts us right up here. I think this will be about good in terms of height. We'll go... I feel like maybe one more. So we'll go up one more level here. Look at that. All our mechanic skill is going up. Theoretically, carpentry should be going up a little bit at a time, too, which that's really good if so. I mean, we do kind of need that. And then how many kits do we have remaining? We have enough. So we're going to need... Let's go back to our favoritos and do some more wooden ramp frames. So we're going to put... Um, what happened here? Get down there. Don't be bashful. So we're just going to drop right there. And we're going to do something like... Uh, how do I want to do this? I might actually want to do it that way, just so I can have the angle to shoot down. Oftentimes what I'll do, just in case you're, you're kind of wondering what I'm thinking about here, just for the sake of the look, I will usually put the frames this way for the ledge. But because I want to be able to shoot down and perhaps get a little closer if I want to, I think I'll go this way. I think that's fine. Uh, let's um, go back to simple rotation. That'll be okay. I should probably just put it on face rotation, but this is fine for now. And I don't think I'm going to worry about corners. I mean, I guess we can look and see if it'll be a pain. We would need, uh, a, I don't know. I don't remember what these, which block is which. Corner, corner, corner. Let's see, where are the wood corners, wood frame? Full corner, I think that would be the right one. Is this the, the correct one here? No. I don't want the full corner. I don't... No, maybe that is right. Okay, never mind. I stand corrected. I just need to rotate. And then everything... I don't even know that I got those... Ro <laughs> that rotated the right way. I feel like I messed up on the rotation there. Whatever. It's kind of hard to tell from upside down. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking with it. So we're going to do something like this, except for the part where we also still need the ladders to get up there. See? Exactly enough ladders. So that kind of brings us right up here. We can... Look at that. I got it right. In every single corner. I think. Hey! Look at that. Go me. I sure did. Kaboom. I think anything that's exposed, my bad, I didn't mean to go up two stages on that one, we will probably need to upgrade to the metal. Most of this thing, I think, will be fine. As long as the zombies don't get in. And if they do, eh, we just run out. Here, you know what? Just for the sake of a look, we'll do just the corners. That'll give a nice little pop of color and stuff. So theoretically, we can stand right here and get right down on the edge. That's why I'm, I kind of wanted to do it this way this time around. That'll let us get down and really close and have a good time at the zombie's expense. I won't lie, I'm kind of looking at this and going, maybe I should put up one more layer of walls right here so that if the zombies do get over, then they can't get through. I think that makes good sense. So, let's see. We need some more wood frames. We're going to need 11... Uh, 11 more frames. And then we're going to need some carpenter kits. We'll use regular nails since that's what we have at the moment. We have 8 of those. So then we will need 16 of those. Is that right? I think 16. Oh, man, yeah, I'm doing it again. 16 of these guys. Watch them magically appear. So we're going to go one more. I've I've decided to go up one more just to play it slightly extra more safer-ish. Now, I do realize that once the zombies get up here, the ravagers, the spider zombies, they're going to be able to 
climb straight up and over this. That's fine. Not going to sweat that, I guess. I mean, I don't know. What else? What, what, are, what are you supposed to do in this case? I don't know. This is not a well thought out design. This is not an example of how to do your best defense. This is me just doing something on the fly. I mean, if you have any doubt of that, go look at how I do things. I don't plan. I wing it all the time. That's just how I roll. Why? I don't know. I like the challenge of it. What can I say? Something must be wrong with me. Probably many things. But whatever. It's fine. How are we doing on metal? I know we had some discussions earlier about stepping this up. I think we'll do that. We'll drop down and make sure that we have appropriate levels of metalness on all this stuff. I think we need to upgrade our door as well. Our doer. Cat, how you doing? So I think we're just going to go ahead and... Oh, wow. Did I miss... Did I miss a level here? Do those... Why do those need... Shoot, I did miss a level of those. Holy cow, man. Um, crud. Okay, well, hold on. Can we do... Cat, don't... Don't... No, don't... Don't do that. That's just... That's not okay. We need... Um, 24 of these, I guess? So then we can do some carpenter's kits with crude nails. And then we can do max of those. I think technically I did four too many. Hey! I said don't claw the screen. She doesn't listen very well sometimes, in case that's not obvious. But she's also a cat. So she doesn't really speak English. We've run out of metal. Well, crap. Well, we can at least upgrade this stuff. That's fine. I think that'll end up being okay. I mean, I'm not overly concerned. It's only a day 14 horde. It's not like it's uh, anything super duper crazy. Oh, my goodness. I was a little concerned about something like that happening, and there you go. It just happened. Uh, well, let's take some fall damage. It's gonna hurt. That's where the hay bales were supposed to come into play, but then I ended up completely building everything in too tight of a spot. So, whatever. It's just the way it's going to be. I'm going to go ahead and pull into the garage. Uh, you know what? I don't think I will. I'll leave it right there. We'll come back. I'll take that back to the, the horde location rather than leave it lying out here. But for right now, I think I'm going to wrap up my leg. Because, um, nope. Not what I meant to do. I meant to do that one. Uh, nope. I guess I just meant to grab a duct tape from somewhere. Where is a duct tape? Here, we'll make a splinty doodle. And I think I need to call it a day. So I will catch you tomorrow for the day 14 horde. In which case, uh, we have a sprained leg. Things are going to be ugly. And I'm just going to take the rest of this time to grab guns and healing stuff. Make sure we have all the things that are appropriate for the upcoming battle, and I will join you over there. So until then, wonder what will happen, because I'm not entirely sure myself. And in fact, we'll probably keep these just to be safe. Anyway, so I'll catch you on another one. Until then, thanks for watching. See you later.